What is going on everybody? It's Chip Walton from Chop and Brew. Man, it's a beautiful spring day in St. Paul. I wanted to give you all a quick update as well as a shout out to some fun things that our very awesome supporters Imperial Yeast have going on. First and foremost, sorry for the delay in getting some new episodes out. Uh, had a grad class going on since mid-January that has just overtaken my reality and my mental space and my mental power. If you're a fan of the show, you've seen this happen twice before. Um, it's just a lot to bite off, but that's over at the beginning of May pretty much. And we've got episodes from Portland coming up. We've got episodes from Arizona coming up. We're brewing in the Badass Brewery. We're, we're brewing in my house. We're brewing all over the place. So we've been filling the gap with some of these tasting notes videos. I hope you get educated and entertained by those, but we are about to get a little more back into the brew kettle. That being said, some of the things that we're going to be brewing in the next couple of weeks and months have a lot to do with these imperial yeast um the big news is that their loki strain has gone year round it used to be a seasonal it was very popular as you can imagine all things kvik are these days so this is their norwegian vos kvik strain can ferment from 60 to 100 uh you know the wide range of things that kvik can do um i'm interested in obviously beer but between this one and this one we'll talk about in a minute i'm also i think we're going to try some meads maybe even some ciders. So Loki year round, find it. Um, Voyager, this is our spring seasonal, April through May. It's an English ale strain. Uh, my um, galactic spies tell me that it may or may not be the Timothy Taylor strain from the UK, which would mean that it's clearly awesome for brewing English mild bitters, pales, but um, the talking points that I've received for this uh, recommend American IPAs, double IPAs, basically hops, um, but also balance if that's what you're going for. But it can handle the hops on um, the low end. Apparently it's kind of nutty, earthy. Um, on the high end, it kicks off a lot of fruit, apricot. So April through May, if that sounds like a banger for your home brewery, which I very much think it will be. And then this guy, they sent us with the handwritten label, which means it's kind of on the low low at the moment. This is going to be their summer seasonal. It is a three Kvik blend. So that'll be out uh, July, August. Um, but they sent us like eight of these. So we're going to be pitching this into all kinds of stuff. We're brewing for the second annual Brew for Good. The Chop and Brew crew, me and Illa and Brian Adams and Leif and... Dono, Paul, Fowler, I can't remember Don. Either way, we're going to be serving at Brew for Good in Minneapolis on June 15th. You should all be there. It's an awesome homebrew pouring event that raises money for Think Small, a local um, nonprofit in the Twin Cities. But we're going to be putting a lot of these to work for that. And then for Brian's Pig Out in August, you know, that thing's got to have like eight or ten beers on tap. So we're going to be getting busy with these Imperial Yeasts. We're going to be doing a bunch of Kvik with... Uh, the actual Kvik that Ivar sent us. Uh, we got a lot coming up. So thanks for your patience. Thanks for your support. Support Imperial Yeast. Go find these strains. Um, and also just like hit them up. Hit them up on social. Hit them up on email. Tell them that you appreciate them supporting Chop and Brew. Tell them that you appreciate them appreciating us. We appreciate it. Um, that was always really fun back in the Brewing TV days. Like the comments that we would get through email at Northern Brewer or when people ordered kits and supplies, they would always put in the bottom line, like, thank you for supporting, you know, huge fan of the company because you support the show. Let's make the same thing happen now with Chop and Brew. Let's go back scratch those who back scratch us. So Chop for Chop, Brew for Brew, happy spring. Looking forward to getting some videos out for y'all, man. It, uh, it warms my heart to know that we're going to get back on track here very shortly. Peace.